Good evening class, this is Dr. Mike. I'm going to talk about the Module 2 assignments regarding JavaScript for IT505. To find these assignments, go to Module 2 in Brightspace. Scroll down. Um, there's a video you need to watch, which is pretty cool. Uh, most of you have probably already done that or you're in the process of doing that. That's awesome. But let's look at these two things here. JavaScript Basics, that's the 2-2 activity. And then 2-3 is the final project milestone one. First, the basics. So I would actually click on these links and read what you have there, and then try out the tutorial. When you click on, for example, the JavaScript um, introduction, you'll see a nice website by w3schools.com. It has a bunch of JavaScript stuff here on the left-hand side. Pick any of these five, because um, that's what you're going to write about. So for example, common. Um, thing to write about in JavaScript is variables, uh, comments, syntax, right? operators, uh, it gives you some examples there, arithmetic in JavaScript, pretty easy, right? And that the arithmetic is important because you want to add subtract numbers, obviously. Um, statements, output, this is all important stuff and you're going to need to pick five of those and write about the importance of those in your milestone one paper. Okay, but before we do that, we need to learn some JavaScript. So if we go back to this 2-2 activity, you'll see a link for the Try It Yourself tutorial. And when you click on that, you will see this here. Something like this will pop up for you and appear. And this is some HTML with some code, some JavaScript here that you can run. And let's actually try that. So if I click run here, um, click me, okay, this button is defined right there. And when someone actually clicks that button, this text shows up as you can see here. So let's rerun the program, the website. The default website shows um, JavaScript can change HTML content. This is HTML content. JavaScript can change HTML content, right? Click the button and the HTML content is going to be changed to hello JavaScript. Let's actually change it to hello and then hello Mike, right? You can change it to wherever you want and click run that and click me and there it is, hello Mike. So in this case, JavaScript has helped us dynamically change the, the static HTML content. Pretty simple. But we have to go beyond this. For our assignment. So if we go back to module two, you will see later on, um, right below it, 2-3 programming assignment. Okay, so let's learn about that by looking at the rubric for this. And here it is. For the milestone one, we need to write a report and in the report include five components of code, specifically JavaScript code. Remember, we see those in the JavaScript website that we were directed to look at. Pick any five of these, write about their importance in JavaScript programming. Strings are obviously important. Numbers are obviously important. All the stuff's important, but pick five of them and write about those. Okay, that's what your rubric says here. In your report, describe five components of code indicating their role in JavaScript programming. Now, <clears throat> we have all this stuff here to do. So, uh, we need to write a website, or modify that JavaScript code to actually do all this, okay? They give you code right here. So you can copy that in there and do something with it. And then, what are we gonna do with it? Well, let's copy that code. I'll have it here in, in a, in a uh, announcement that you can just copy easily from. And we're going to go back to, oh, and here it is right here as well, the same code. Okay. And we're going to put this into the editor, replace this old stuff with the new code. Let's change this to date at least 30 days into the future. Why that is that? Because in the rubric, it says here, choose a date that is at least 30 days into the future. 
This will be initial upgrade date for group one. Okay, so group one has an initial upgrade date at least three days in the future. Group two is two days after group one's date, five days after that for group three, eight days for group um, four, eight days after the initial upgrade date, and then group five has a date 10 days after the initial upgrade date. Okay. Going back here, we have our initial date, which is at least 30 days into the future, as requested of us. Run it, and there you go. Okay, it shows us. Take a screenshot of that, and that'll be for group one. Group two is at least two days, is two days after that. So January 21. We're gonna run that. There you go. 120 days. Screenshot that. Screenshot both sides. This and this. Okay. And do that for all, all the rest of the dates and save that. Get those screenshots, add those to your paper because I bet you you have to actually include those. Yep. Take the code, run it. Once you enter the code, modify the dates. Yep. Take screenshots of each result after you modify and execute the code. Yep. There you go. So this assignment is going to have uh, five screenshots. Right? One for each of the groups here, group one through five, as I just showed you how to do. You're going to include that in your Word document. You're also going to include a little report where you um, do just follow the directions as indicated. Uh, and in the report, include at least, or include five components of JavaScript code. Remember that is found over here in the side of the page that they sent you to. Where did they send you to that? Well, that was described up here in 2-2 act Activity JavaScript Basics. That is the link. Read all those and you'll learn about it. Okay, follow this Try It Yourself tutorial, which we already did. Okay, take screenshots of that. That's going to be your Activity 2-1. 2-, excuse me, 2-2. That will be Activity 2-2. In this particular separate assignment, different assignment, 2-3, we um, describe and do what I just did earlier. Here's the milestone for that. So anyway, uh, looks like you have a couple different JavaScript assignments this week. They don't seem very hard at all, however. And just follow the directions for each one and you'll be fine. The directions are located here. Okay. This activity for 2-2 is pass-fail, so you just do it, okay? make the modifications that are required, take the screenshots, submit that Word doc, 2-2 is done. 2-3 is a separate, more involved assignment, okay, but it's not hard. Just go ahead and follow the directions, do what, follow what I did as well. Um, this video will be helpful to you. Follow that video to get more assistance, and you're good to go at that point. Describe your five topics, take your screenshots, you're, you're good to go. If you have any questions, let me know. Good luck, and we will chat later in the week. Have a great evening.